Hi everyone and welcome back. You're at Bake a Leg and Let's Stick at Homestead. And I thought I would show this. This is a seed tray with a lot of like, um, I did a bunch of cherry tomatoes. You can see how these look a little bit small and you might be like, why are you up potting them? Well, they started to get extremely leggy. So, I figured I would show you how to up pot. Just get a butter knife or a chopstick. I know you're not going to be like perfect, but let's see if I can show you how to do this. So my great niece started writing what it was on the cups and the seed company. That's just what I do. So this is Dr. Winchies, as I like to say. And this is them right there. And you might be thinking, well, they look kind of little. Yeah, but if I leave them and wait for their second true leaves, um, these most likely are just going to get extremely leggy. I've been dealing with some legginess because of the humidity in here. So this video, I'm just going to show you how to up pot, whether it's big or small. I'm using potting soil that has earthworm casting in it. And I dampened it, but the humidity is so bad in here that you might have to add some more water. So I filled it up. And basically what I do is I just make a hole either with my finger or like that. Some of these are going to be small, so the hole might not have to be that deep. I take a butter knife, and I'm going to go right for this one right here. You can scoop the whole thing out if they're all up and germinate it. Or you could take out one by one. So I'm just going to lay it on the table so that you can see how to do this. Just trying to zoom in a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so there they are, the little seedlings, Dr. Winchie's yellow. And basically, you just want to lightly separate them from the soil. And you will have the root attached right there with the seedling. And then you're just going to take the cup. This is what I do. Just trying to make sure you can see this. I just take my fingers and I push it all the way down and I tighten the soil around it and I try to come up to the stem as much as possible. Now this may not look like a lot of soil around it, but it's okay because then you can always, as it's growing, add some more soil. So this is a styrofoam cup that has drainage holes under there. It's labeled and that literally is how you a pot. So I will show you again. Some people can leave their ceilings in a tray forever. That's usually never works for me, but this year the humidity in the dining room is really bad. Here's the next ceiling right there. Just be gentle. Make a hole. With your finger. Give it a gentle push down. And then... Tighten it around the tomato plant. And then, like I said, as it gets bigger, you can add more soil to it. And you just want to make sure that you give this some water after you up pot it. This is the last one. This one's a wee little baby one, but we're going to take it out because why not? We're on some doctor witchies or Dr. Winchies, however you want to say it. And I am just putting potting soil, like I said, with worm casting in it. I don't normally use worm casting, but I want them to have some extra nutrients. Pop that right in the hole and then just go around gently with your fingers. Press around it, press the sides down to give it some structure to be able to hold it. And there you go, my friends. That is how you up pot. And I have a lot of up potting to do. So I thought that I would just share this quick little video to show you how I do it. You could use it with a butter knife. Chopstick works better. Um, and then this extra. Let me move it. But let me show you the difference. See how leggy this is? This is a Costaludo. So it's reaching. So I want to get these leggy ones out. 
Um, so yeah, thought I would do a quick video and show you how to up pot and what is the difference with legginess? What is causing legginess? I mean, I have the lights on, but I have the back door over there that's pretty bright and I do keep rotating them, but for some reason they're just reaching really far. So my great niece was awful nice. Uh, the total, this is how I do my six. Dr. Wichie's yellow, Baker Creek, 218 I planted it, it says seven. So that's three, four, five, six, and the seventh one is coming up. So I might leave that one go, but technically speaking, you can let these go until they get their first true leaves. This is their seedling leaf. The next one below it will be their true leaves. Then you can up pot them, but it's the struggle's real over here with the humidity in this dining room. So I'm working on this one. She has some cups labeled. Let me zoom you out. She has some cups labeled, and I'm going to try to get some of this one done. Um, mainly the ones that are looking really leggy. You don't want to pick them out too small before they're fully germinated. Um, but yeah, and that is how you up pot. So, like I said, thought I would bring you along and show you what is legginess. I have another one over here that can probably show you a little bit better on the legginess. This is the Napa Chardonnay. You see this legginess? This has to be up potted. That will get up potted today. Some of these are really small little babies and others are like reaching like crazy. So I'm going to be working on this today. Um, I'm trying to get this tray done so that I fix that up from last night's live. Sorry about cutting. Well, today's Monday. You'll probably see this Tuesday. I was trying to end my live. I suddenly wasn't feeling good. The heat felt like I was going to pass out. And yeah, that's why I ended it pretty abruptly. I don't know what that was, but it scared the daylights out of me. So I'm taking it easy today. I did fix those three shelves right there. And these cups are going to go into that one. And then I have another tray waiting. Uh, once this is done, it'll be all peppers and then all tomatoes like that. And I did start cleaning off the table, even though it doesn't look like it. So yeah, I was feeling kind of sick suddenly uh, in my live. And that's why I ended it. I guess we could say it ended on time, right? But so I'm just trying to take it easy, not stress myself out. I figured I would just sit here. Let me do a video, show my subscribers on how to uh, up pot and what's the difference between leggy and not leggy. So the ones that are stretching really far, can you be okay with you? Let me see if I can find the tag for this and I will show you. Let's see if she wrote it out. If not, I'll just do one. This is the Costolito. My great niece was over. Okay, now I don't see one. I'm just going to take styrofoam cup. This will be the last one I do with you. And I'm going to go in here, look at the tag, and it says six. But as you see, there's only one, two, three. But I'm just going to go in here very gently. I'm not going to take them all out. I am just going to take this one out ever so gently to not mess up the other seeds that are in there give it a press down that's been another issue i have to pick out what's leggy and then put the rest back on a seed tray so it's been a little bit annoying but what are you going to do right so make sure your cups have holes in the bottom same routine just put some soil in the cup And then we're going to take this one that's leggy, that has the root attached. Do you see that root? And we're going to just go down deeper. Drop it in the hole. You see that? Nope, you can't see that. Drop it in the hole. Get it to stand up straight. So can your leggy tomatoes survive? Yes, you just need to bury them deeper in whatever you're up potting. See? It's there it's good to go um, and it'll stop that legginess so there you have it that's my video today on legginess what it looks like what 
it doesn't look like if you don't have legginess and how to up pot. So I hope you found that helpful um, for my new uh, beginning gardeners. It's easy. It's just a pain in the butt. But I will be adjusting my lights and everything once I get things up potted. So that's what I'm working on today. Love yous. And yeah, pretty easy to up pot. Love y'all. Like, subscribe, share, watch those commercials, do all that fun, good stuff. And I will see you on the next video. And don't forget to write on the cup. Because I took the tag out of there. I have to put the tag back. And this is a Costolito Genovese Tomato by M.I. Gardner. That was done on 218. And I planted six. So I'm just going to put it right back into the hole. Right there. And let the rest come up. So normally they're all up and then I can just deal with it. But unfortunately, different seeds germinate at different times. But this is the Costolito and I will write on it. But again, love you. Thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, share. Like I said, do all that fun stuff. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.